Welcome my fellow fitness enthusiasts to today's fitness challenge coming at you from Revision Training LLC. My name is Tyler Marin. I am owner of Revision Training where our mission is to bring fitness to you in an accessible format. Whether you're sighted, whether you're visually impaired, doesn't matter. We are here to make sure that you guys have all the tools you need to build fitness into your life. I'm really excited about today's workout. Today we're gonna do some combat training. We're gonna do some kickboxing work. And if you are interested in toning up, you're interested in losing weight, you're interested in improving your cardio, getting more fit, this is a workout for you. So whether you're a beginner or an expert, stay with me today because you're really gonna like this. If quarantining has got you down, if your fitness center hasn't opened up yet, you're super frustrated about not being able to get in some good training, I'm gonna take care of you today. This is a workout that you'll really enjoy. Let me introduce myself to you real quick. My name is Tyler Marin. Like I said, I'm owner of Revision Training, LLC. I'm also a motivational speaker, a personal trainer, and a three-time Paralympic athlete. And today's workout, we're gonna be doing this in my favorite place to exercise. We're in the great outdoors. I'm outside right now, standing in the shade, enjoying the breeze. Any chance that you get to get out, get some sunshine, get some vitamin D, get some fresh air, best thing for you. Make sure we're keeping that immune system strong. So let's talk about our training for today. Today's gonna be a mix, right? So we're going high cardio with this kickboxing routine that we're gonna do. We're gonna do an 18 round circuit training kickboxing mix. So we're focusing primarily on high cardio, but our quick explosive movements also mean that we're gonna tone up our muscles at the same time. Really, anytime you can get in some good combat training, you're gonna be changing your body for the better. It's one of the most efficient ways that you can train. And you're gonna find out why pretty quickly. Quick caveat before we get started, two things. Number one, I'm assuming that you guys have gotten in a good workout if you're checking out this video. If you haven't, take a look through my channel. I've got several workouts in there for stretching, for dynamic warm-ups, stuff that'll help you prepare your body for this type of workout. And number two, I'm not actually teaching you guys how to fight. <laughs> this is strictly for fitness purposes. So I'm not teaching you guys how to take anybody down if they try to nab your wallet. Hopefully you will. Hopefully you'll never find yourself in that situation. But all of that being said, let's go ahead and get to our training. Let's talk about the different postures, positions we're gonna move in and out of, and then I'm gonna start a timer. We're gonna get this workout rolling. So there's actually seven different uh, movements today, kicks, punches that we're gonna work through. And I'm gonna start off with our stance, okay? Our neutral stance that we're gonna work our way out of. All right, so when we're doing kickboxing or any type of combat training, you have what we're gonna call our, our dominant stance and our non-dominant stance. So depending on if you're right-handed or left-handed, it's gonna determine which way is your dominant stance. It doesn't really matter for purposes of this video in the sense that each set, we're gonna switch back and forth from one to the other. So we're kind of working both sides of the body equally. Whichever side you wanna start on doesn't matter, okay? But let me talk you through this stance. I'm right-handed, so my dominant stance is gonna be with my right hand back. If you're left-handed, it's the opposite side. So again, it doesn't matter which way we start with as long as we get both sides. So to go into our neutral stance, out of which we'll throw a jab, a cross, an uppercut, a front kick, a side kick, um, all of this stuff is gonna come out of that neutral stance. Here's how we're gonna do it. Neutral stance, I'm starting up super tall. My back is straight, my feet are hip width, toes pointing forward, I'm just in my neutral um, ready position, okay? To get into your neutral stance for kickboxing, okay? We're gonna bend the elbows, okay? So bring your fists up towards your shoulders, okay? So go ahead and make a fist. We're not open palms on this one, we're making a fist. You're gonna kinda close your arms in front of you a little bit. So my elbows are bent, my elbows are down by my ribs, but I'm gonna bring my fists and elbows kinda closer together in front of my body. So my fists and my elbows are about four inches apart, give or take, okay? My fists right now are in front of my face. So I'm kinda looking over the top of my, my knuckles towards you guys. This way, I can use the bones, the long arm, uh, long bones in my forearm to protect my ribs, to protect my face as I'm doing this combat training, okay? Now, now that we have the upper body in place, we wanna look at shifting into our dominant stance. How does that work? So, with my elbows bent in front of me, okay, my elbows kinda down by my ribs, in front of me, down by my belly, my fists up in front of my face, my forearms, elbows, fists about four inches apart, 
Right now, everything I have is facing towards you guys, towards 12 o'clock. To get into your dominant stance, we're actually gonna turn your body. So again, I'm right-handed. I'm gonna turn to the right. I'm gonna keep my left foot where it is. I'm gonna take my right foot, I'm gonna step it back, just a very short step. I'm stepping it back about 10 to 12 inches. And I'm gonna turn my body, my hips, my belly, my chest, so that instead of pointing at you guys at 12 o'clock, I'm turning my body so it points to my right-ish at two o'clock, okay? I'm turning my body to the side. So my left foot, my front leg, my front toe, front knee, is still pointed at you guys, but the rest of me, my chest, my belly, my hips, my right arm especially, is gonna turn to the right and kind of cock back slightly. So my elbows and fists and forearms are still protecting me, but now my right shoulder and right arm, <coughs> excuse me, are back just slightly so that I'm kind of cocked back. My right shoulder is cocked back and my face is still looking at 12 o'clock towards you guys. This is your dominant stance, okay? Everything pointed towards 12 except for your hips, uh, hips belly, chest, and shoulders turn to the right towards two o'clock. Now, if you're left-handed, you're gonna turn the other way. So your right foot's gonna be in front of you, right arm in front of you, and then you're turned to your left, pointed towards about 10 o'clock, okay? Still having your elbows and forearms, fists in front of you, protecting your body, okay? Those are the dominant stances. Now, from there, whichever stance you're in, let's go with a jab, okay? So your first move is gonna be a jab. Whatever arm is in front, so if I'm, not, I'm in my dominant stance, it's my left arm that's out in front, that's a, gonna be a jab. So I'm here in my dominant stance, neutral stance, and I'm going to push my left arm straight out in front of me like I'm trying to punch something exactly my height, somebody exactly my height, right at about chin level. Okay, that is a jab. It's always with my front arm is a jab, all right? And then I'm back to my stance. Now, as I throw that jab, Here's the thing is my body's gonna turn a little farther. So in my neutral stance, I'm pointed towards one and a half, two o'clock. As I throw that jab, my right arm and shoulder come back just a little bit, and now my chest and belly, everything is pointed directly towards three o'clock. So I'm putting my hips and my body into that punch, right? I'm not just standing here neutral, and it's just my arm being thrown out. Right now, I'm, I'm not doing it correctly. My whole body is statue still, and I'm just, Extending my arm out and pulling it back. Extending my arm out pulling it back. Nothing's moving except for my arm. We don't want to do that. You don't get much power out of just your arm. But if you turn your whole body into that punch, turn your whole body into that punch, that's when you're going to get a lot of power. Your fist is just the end point of your entire body moving into that hit. Okay? That's a jab. Punch number two is going to be a cross. It's the exact same concept, but now with your back arm, with your arm that's cocked back. Okay? We're in our dominant stance. On my body, my chest, my belly's pointed towards two o'clock. I'm looking straight ahead at 12. Now I'm gonna turn my hips and shoulders to the left. So I'm kind of turning myself across the grain a little bit. And then I'm punching out with my right arm, okay? Dominant stance and your whatever arm is back. So again, if you're left-handed, your cross is gonna go with that power hand, that hand that's back and you're gonna Turn your whole body into it. Turn your hips and shoulders into it. Your feet don't have to move a lot. You're not turning your feet so much. You can be up on the balls of your feet, and if you get a little pivot and move in your feet, that's okay. But a lot of it's your hips and shoulders turning into that punch. And again, you're not trying to punch somebody way taller than you or way shorter than you. Think about just your own height, extending straight out at shoulder level, of, approximately. So we've got a jab with the front arm, cross with the back arm, okay? Next one is gonna be a hook. Okay, stay with me. I know there's a lot of instruction, guys, but you guys are really gonna like this workout. Next one is a hook. A hook's gonna happen with your front arm. Just like a jab, a hook is with that front arm. So for me, it's my left hand. Think about if somebody's standing in front of you and you're trying to hit them on the side of the, the face, essentially, at the side of the jaw, all right? You're going to bring your left arm out to your side. Your elbow is bent. Right now I've got my elbow bent, shoulder level, bent 90 degrees. My fist is pointed towards you guys, but my palm is down now. So neutral stance, I've got my elbow in by my rib, and my palms are kind of facing towards each other while I make that fist. To throw a hook, I'm bringing my elbow out to the side, raising it up to shoulder level, palm towards the floor, 
and I'm going to turn my body. I'm going to turn towards that three o'clock as I swoop my arm kind of across in front of me. So my elbow stays bent 90 degrees and think about bringing your fist flat across the face of somebody, like across their jaw. So again, neutral stance, bring your arm out to the side, that front arm out to the side, elbows bent, and then you big turn, big swoop to the side as you try to hit from the side. That's a hook, okay? Last upper, uh, last upper body exercise, we're throwing an uppercut, okay? So that's with your back arm. So your back arm, we had a cross, and now we're gonna do an uppercut, okay? So here's how this is gonna function. You've got your neutral stance, okay? You're going to squat down just slightly, okay? Because again, we're using our body with all these movements. That's where our power comes from. You're in your neutral stance. You're gonna drop your hips down just slightly. I didn't go real low. I just dropped my hips down a few inches. I bend my knees, kind of squat down, compress down. I'm gonna turn my fist so my palm is towards me now instead of towards my other hand. It's turned towards my face. And then I'm gonna push back up. I'm gonna straighten my legs. I'm gonna push my fist up towards the ceiling in front of me, okay? Or up towards the sky where I am here. I'm digging it. <laughs> Thinking about hitting somebody up under their chin with this one, okay? So you're neutral, you squat down, turn your fist towards you, and then boom, drive your fist up like you're trying to hit somebody under their jaw, okay? Recap, jab with the front arm, straight punch. J uh, cross with the back arm, straight punch. Hook with the front arm, cross the jaw, and then squat down and drive your fist up for uppercut, okay, with the with the domadon. Three kicks, and then we're gonna get into our program. And guys, if you're hearing this and you're like, it's a little wonky, couple things. My project is gonna have much better descriptions in it for you, much more detailed. I'm flying through these really quickly. And also, again, I'm not teaching you guys how to fight. So if you get your feet mixed up a little bit, don't worry about it, just high octane movements today, just quick movements. Try to keep your body moving, get your heart rate up, and you guys will do just fine, promise you. Okay, knee strike, dominant stance, your back leg. So again, for me, my dominant stance is my right foot back. I'm going to be in my neutral stance here. I'm gonna bring my elbows back to my sides really hard. I'm pulling my elbows back as my right knee comes up, like I'm trying to hit somebody in the belly with my knee. Elbows come back and I drive my knee up. Elbows come back and I drive my knee up then back into my neutral stance. Drive the knee up, then you go back in your neutral stance. So your front leg isn't even really moving. My front foot stays still, my front foot stays on the ground, and I boom, drive my knee up, pull the elbows back. Front kick is exactly the same thing, but you're extending your leg out at the end. So neutral stance, my back leg, okay? I'm going to pull my elbows back, Drive my knee up, this is the back leg again, my left foot hasn't moved. Drive my knee up and I'm gonna extend my left foot out like I'm trying to kick somebody that's farther away from me. They're, if they're really close, I'm gonna use my knee. If they're farther away, I'm gonna extend my foot and try to kick them. Okay, here, drive the knee up and kick. Drive the knee up and kick. This is called a front kick because you're kicking in front of you. Not because you're using your front leg, you're using your back leg on this one because that's where all your power is gonna come from but you're gonna drive the knee up and kick the leg. Drive the knee up and kick the leg. So make sure you guys have space. Don't need you kicking a hole in your TV or anything like that. Very last one, and then we're gonna jump into the workout. Side kick. This one can be a little tough, okay? So follow me on this. I'm in my dominant stance, okay? Whether you're left or right-handed, again, doesn't matter. Get in your dominant stance. And what you're gonna do is think about this almost as a total side movement. So I'm facing towards you guys, and to do this movement very slowly, I'm going to turn all the way to three o'clock. So I'm kind of looking at you, but now my whole body's faced directly to the side. I kind of draw my fists in, elbows in. I draw my feet together, okay? So my feet are in close together. Now I'm standing all the way up. I'm gonna bring my left knee, okay, the, the leg that was in front, I'm gonna bring it up, to about waist level, and then I'm gonna kick out to my side, low and hard. Like, there's somebody standing in front of me, and I wanna turn to the side, and I wanna kick their knee with my heel. I bring my knee up, and then I extend my leg out to the side towards you guys. Kick 
poking somebody right in the knee. Don't have to think about going super high. If you do go higher, that's okay. You wanna kick waist level, you're flexible enough to do that, that's fine. Don't have to worry about kicking that high though. Here, dominant stance. I'm looking towards you guys. You're, you're at 12 o'clock, I'm gonna to turn to my right, then I'm gonna draw my knee up and then kick out directly at you guys down at knee level. That's a side kick, okay? And I kind of land back in that neutral stance. It's a little pivot and turn in the feet, turn the body, draw the knee up, side kick, okay? Now, here we go. We're gonna put some of these together now, that's it. Instruction done, let's get the workout started. Now we're gonna do some combos, okay? So I'm gonna call the combo, so for example, we're gonna go jab cross for our first one. Here's how the cadence works. We're gonna go 45 seconds on, 15 seconds rest. 45 seconds on, 15 seconds rest. And every time we're gonna switch it up. So first combo is gonna be a jab cross. You go to your dominant stance, and it's gonna be jab with the left hand, okay, for me because I'm right-handed. Jab left, cross right. Jab left, cross right. Here's our cadence. Left, right, reset. Left, right, reset. Left, right, reset. Okay, so a combo, when I say, okay, we're gonna do jab cross, it's not jab cross, jab cross, jab cross. You do the combo, then you reset in your position. Jab cross, then reset, okay? Here we go, guys. You made it this far. I hope you're excited to get this workout in. This is such a fun movement pattern, okay? Let's go ahead and get it going. I'm gonna hit my timer. And we are gonna get this workout happening. Very first exercise we're doing is our jab cross. Let's get it set. Dominant stance in three, two, one, and go. Jab cross, jab cross, jab cross, jab cross. Now remember, hit with your body. Don't just extend your arms out. Turn your hips and shoulders with this movement. I don't know if you guys will be able to hear my timer or not, but I'll let you know. 45 seconds per set. We're gonna do jab cross again after this timer but we're gonna switch our feet. You're gonna go to your non-dominant stance. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Remember, hitting some of the your level. I'm gonna turn sideways so you guys can see that. Boom, boom. Turning your hips and shoulders. That's where you get all your power. That's where this workout really kicks up. Boom, 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 boom. Jab, cross, a few seconds, and done. Okay, you got 15 seconds. Shake your arms out. Shake the legs out, and we're gonna go Jab, cross again. Now I'm switching my feet though. Okay, I'm going non-dominant stance. Set, and go. Jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross. Here we go. This is the movement pattern. And again, if you guys are like, eh, not really following, throw some punches. Just throw some punches. Let's get some work out in. Get your heart rate up. Get your body moving. Turn the hips and shoulders. Breathe. Get your body moving, guys. Not too complicated. Not going into golden gloves or anything like that. <laughs> We're just getting a workout here. Jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross. Come on, let's go. Jab, cross, jab, cross. We're almost there. Got a few more. The feet are staying pretty still. Big turn in the hips and done. Okay, good, shake it out. Shake the legs out. Next one we have. Knee strike, okay, so not really a combo, we're just going knee strike. Back to my dominant stance, set, and go. Knee strike, knee strike. You're trying to take your back leg, and you're trying to hit a person in front of you, right in the belly, boom. Hit them right in the belly with that knee. As that knee drives up, your elbows come back, so we're kind of counterbalancing that movement. Strike, use your body, move the hips, strike. Good, drive that knee up, working the hips. This is a good core exercise. We're working our hip flexors, working our back and shoulders. Good, breathe. Combat training, so good for you. Burns a lot of calories, builds up a lot of coordination, takes a lot of balance and work. Good, and done, perfect. Ooh, feeling good, feeling powerful. Switching sides. Non-dominant stance, guys. Drive that knee up. Get set, deep breath, and go. Good, drive up. So now I'm doing a knee strike with my left knee. Elbows come back, boom. 
Strike, strike. Looking good. Making sure that you're hitting somebody at your own height. Drive those elbows back. Drive the knee up. Good. Quick explosive movements. Really important that we get that good warm up in. If you're not getting a good warm up in, pull muscle on this one. Don't do it, guys. Drive the knee up. Drive the knee up. We're almost there. I know I'm getting my heart rate up on this one. Boom, drive the knee up. Almost there. Good. Perfect. Okay, shake it out. Next combo. We're going to hook uppercut, okay? Dominant stance. You're going to hook with the front arm from the side, uppercut underneath. Here we go. Set and go. Hook, uppercut, set, hook, uppercut, set. So big turn, then you a little squat and drive up. Hook, uppercut. So you got a double hit. Hit him in the jaw. Hit him under the chin. Hit him in the jaw. Hit him under the chin. Sorry, I'm teaching you to be violent here. <laughs> hook, uppercut. Good. Hook, uppercut. Use your body. Don't just hit with your arms. Use your whole body. A little squat and drive up. Use the legs. Use the hips. Use the shoulders. Boom. Hit, 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 hit. Go a little faster. Hook, uppercut. Hook, uppercut. Challenge yourself. A few more. And good. There it is. All right, 15 second break. Going to the other side. Non dominant stance. Hook, uppercut. Okay? Oh, guys, stay with it. We're not done yet. Set and go. Hook, uppercut. So now I'm hooking with my right arm because that's the one that's forward. I switch my stance, hook, and then uppercut with the left. Hook, uppercut. Hook, uppercut. Hook, uppercut. Use your body. Move and groove. Gonna burn some calories. Boom. Boom. And again, if you're like, man, I don't know if I'm turning my fist the right way, it doesn't matter right now. We're good. All I want you guys to do is move. Hit, hit. Challenge yourself. Hit. Stay light on your feet. Be fast. I'm going to go faster. Hook, uppercut. Hook, uppercut. A few more. And good. That's it. Okay, shake it out. We're back to the legs. Okay, shake the legs out. We're going with our front kick. Just like the knee strike, except now we're extending the leg. Set, front kick, good. Front kick, good. Front kick. Now as we do these, again, I'm not teaching you to fight. I want you to be fast. I want you to be explosive, but be kind to your joints, okay? We don't need to bang the joints. We don't need to extend it so hard you're bruising yourself. Kick your leg out there as quick as you can, but stay safe, right? Keep your heart rate up. Keep working your body. Kick and down. Kick and down. That's good. Kick and down. Good. With a big breath out as you kick. Perfect. Good. That's it. Time's up. Switch into the other leg, okay? Now I've got my right foot forward, right hand forward. Got my body turned to the left. I'm in my non-dominant stance. And I'm kicking with my back leg, my left leg. Front kicks. And go. Kick and down. Kick and down. Kick and down. Kick and down. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Kick and down. Stay with me. Stay with me. Boom. Down. Kick and down. Challenge yourselves. If your heart rate's not going crazy high, then you need to work a little harder. If you're about to pass out, <laughs> dial it back. Kick, kick, go ahead. Kick hard. Boom, kick, boom, kick. Now, they're about to steal your lunch money. Don't let them. Kick, kick, and good. One more for good measure. All right. We're going back to the upper body now. So now, we're gonna do a jab, cross, knee strike, okay? Set up, dominant stance. Here's our cadence. Deep breath, go. Jab, cross, knee strike, set. Jab, cross, knee strike, set. Jab, cross, knee strike, set. 
So it might take you a little bit to get this coordination. Jab, cross, knee strike, set. But take your time, work through it. Jab, cross, knee strike, set. And as you do this, okay, make sure that again, you're using your hips, using your shoulders, and getting that entire body into it. We're getting our breathing, everything into it. One more. Okay, good. Switching sides. Jab, cross, knee strike. Non dominant stance. Here we go. Come on, guys. Stay with it. We're getting there. Set, and here we go. Jab, cross, knee strike. So I'm non dominant stance right now, so I'm right, left, driving up with the left knee. Right, left. Driving up with the left. This one's great because it messes with your balance a little bit. Challenges your body in so many ways. Jab, cross, knee strike. You turn sideways, you guys see this. Knee strike. Knee strike. Come on. Stay with me. We're almost there. Trying to make sure we're getting those hips into it. Yeah. And that's it. Okay. A little breath. We're going side kicks now. Side kicks, guys. We're getting close to the end of this workout. I got a little bonus move at the end for you, okay? Side kicks, dominant stance. Let's go. Draw the foot in, up, and kick. Draw the foot in, up, and kick. Draw the foot in, up, and kick. Turn sideways, you guys. Catch a view of that if you can see it. Turn sideways, up, kick. Again, we're thinking about just knee height, right? Draw the foot in and kick. We're not trying to kick, kick them in the chest. Although if you had that kind of flexibility, you wanna bring that foot up a little higher, that's fine. Not worried about that, no. Just get that knee up and strike. Working the hamstrings and the glutes the lateral hips, We're getting every major muscle group in this entire workout. Perfect. A couple more, and kick. There we go, that's it. Whew. Switching sides, switching sides. Let's go, guys. Non-dominant stance. Get yourselves ready for a side kick. And begin. Kick, set, kick, set. Boom, good. Keep those fists up. Protect yourself, protect your ribs, protect your face. Don't let them hit anything real vital there. Draw it in, kick. Go at your pace. Go at what feels comfortable for now. Kick. I said a little bit of a quicker pace. It's kind of a medium quick pace. Don't have to go this fast. If you can go faster, go for it. Boom, kick. Boom, kick. Boom. Good. That neutral stance. Don't forget that neutral stance in the middle. A couple more and done. Perfect. All right, shake it out a little bit. We're going jab, cross, hook. All right, dominant stance, jab, cross, hook. Set, go. Jab, cross, hook. And reset. Jab, cross, hook. So again, my dominant stance is left, right, hook with the left. Left, right, hook, 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 set. Jab, cross, hook, jab, cross, hook. Get your whole body into that movement. Jab, cross, hook, jab, cross, hook. Don't stop yet. Come on, keep going. Jab, cross, hook. Go a little faster. Jab, cross, hook, jab, cross, hook, jab, cross, hook. I don't care if you're just flailing around, come on. Move that body. Jab, cross, hook. Jab, cross, hook. Jab, cross, hook. A couple more, and we are good. Okay. Switch the sides, non-dominant stance. We're almost done, kids, come on. Let's go. Non-dominant stance. Jab, cross, hook on this other side. Deep breath, set, and begin. Jab, cross, hook. Jab, cross, hook. Jab, cross, hook. Jab, cross, hook. 
Come on. Turn your whole body into it. Whole body. Turn your hips and shoulders. Use your body to get power in those hips. I'm gonna go a little fast. Go faster with me if you can. Jab, cross, hook. Jab, cross, hook. Pick it up. Jab, cross, hook. Jab, cross, hook. Jab, cross, hook. Jab, cross, hook. Almost there. A few more seconds. And that's it. Good. All right. A couple more sets here. Next one. Knee strike, side kick. Okay, a little bit of a different combo. Take your time with this one, okay? Dominant stance. Knee strike. So you draw the foot in, side kick. Okay, reset. Knee strike, side kick. Knee strike, side kick. Turn sideways again. Catch that if you can. Set. Knee strike, side kick. Okay. Knee strike, side kick. We're getting a little close to you. Boom, you backed him up. Bam, side kick. Dominant stance. Knee strike. Side kick. There's a little bit of footwork here. Knee strike. Side kick. Knee strike. Side kick. Just use your body to make this movement happen. Again, you don't have to be lightning fast. And that's it. Okay. Switching sides. Here we go. Non-dominant stance. Set the cadence that feels good for you. Your heart should be cranking right now. Heart rate kicked up like crazy. Here we go. Set. Knee strike. Side kick. Knee strike. Side kick. We're almost done. Knee strike. Side kick. Woo! Feeling this workout. Knee strike. Side kick. Not done yet. Come on. Knee strike. Side kick. Knee strike. Side kick. Come on, guys. Not done. Ha. Knee strike. Side kick. Start to feel it. More. Last one. There we go. All right. Last set here with a little bonus at the end. We're going jab, cross, hook, uppercut. I know it's gonna be a challenging combo. Let's see what you got though. Dominant stance. Start off slow. Here we go. Jab, cross, hook, uppercut. Okay? Left, right, left, right. That's if you're right handed. Dominant stance. Jab, cross, hook, uppercut. Pick up the pace. Jab, cross, hook, uppercut. If you mess up, no problem. Jab, cross, hook, uppercut. Just keep moving. Jab, cross, hook, uppercut. Just pick up the speed. Jab, cross, hook, uppercut. 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 Come on. Stay with me. Stay with me. <laughs> Come on. I know you're tired. Come on. Keep working. Keep working. Throw those arms around. And break. Good. Here we go. Last one. Last one. Dominant stance. Non-dominant stance. Sorry. Let's switch it up. Non-dominant stance. Here we go. Come on. You got this. Step on the balls of your feet. Stay light. Here we go. Jab, cross, hook, uppercut. I'm non-dominant stance right now. So it's right, left, hook with the right, uppercut with the left. Jab, cross, hook, uppercut. 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 We're almost there. Come on. Jab, cross, hook, uppercut. Go faster. Come on. Ah, go faster. Here we go. Ah, here we go. Come on. Not done yet. Ah, balance. Move your arms. Move your hips. Stay with it. And we are good. There we go. You got it. All right. Here we go. Bonus. Bonus exercise. If you're totally beat, Go ahead and pause the video, get some recovery drink in you. If you want a little more, stay with me. Here we go, let's do this last movement. We're gonna do a straddle stance, okay? 
So I'm facing straight at you guys. I'm gonna double wide my feet, okay? So my feet are way out to my side. I say way out, but about double hip width, okay? I'm not doing the splits or anything. I just got my feet standing nice and wide. Turn your toes out at an angle, right? So my toes aren't pointed at 12 at you guys. I got my left toe pointed towards 10 o'clock, my right toe towards two. Sit your hips down, sit your buttocks down. You're in a straddle stance, okay? Your knees are wide, your knees are pointed the same direction as your toes. Don't let your knees collapse in, okay? Keep your knees wide, hips down. Fists up, okay? Protect yourself. I'm not turning left or right on this one, I'm just dominant stance. Chest straight towards you guys, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna jab, okay? We're gonna start off slow, we're gonna do 100 of them, okay? So stay down in your straddle, stra straddle stance, <laughs> can't even talk. Stay down in your straddle stance. Let those thighs burn a little bit. Back straight, head up. Elbows at your side, fists up, let's go. Jab left, one. Jab right, two. Left, three. Right, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, let's go a little faster. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, stay down. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. Stay low. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sixty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Boom. Hundred. Ooh, the legs are on fire. Okay. <laughs> Shake it out. You guys did great. I don't care what your situation is. You just need a little bit of space. You need a little determination, okay? I'm sorry if my descriptions went a little quick today. I hope that you caught it. Even if you didn't, even if you're like throwing your arms all over the place, it's okay. You burned some major, major energy if you stuck with me in this workout. Please comment. Let me know how you did. Let me know how I did. Let me know how the descriptions were. Like it, share it, give it a thumbs up. Join the communities that we're putting together so that we can continue to help people grow, learn fitness, learn about their body, become healthier, gain that energy, and the quality of life that we all deserve to have. You guys stay safe. Make sure that you are hydrating and fueling yourself after this workout. Check out some of the other videos on my channel to make sure that you're getting all the information that you need. From Revision Training, let's change the way we look at it. Make it a strong day.